hello and welcome to another episode of mind map today's topic of discussion is urbanization first of all we will discuss about the introduction of the topic then we will discuss about causes of urbanization urban sprawl challenges of urbanization solutions to urban issues benefits of urbanization and amrut scheme first of all moving on to the introduction of the topic cities act as nodes of economic growth provides goods and services in return for food and raw materials urbanization is the process of migration from rural areas to urban areas it is the phenomenon of the growth of cities and towns that has been observed for several centuries with the pace of industrialization and globalization this process has gained momentum in recent times according to the united nations by 2050 68% of the world's population will live in cities compared to 55% in 2018 as per census 2011 833.5 million persons live in rural areas and 377.1 million persons lives in urban areas thus more than 2/3 of total population of india lives in rural areas now let's discuss about causes of urbanization The primary causes of urbanization are natural increase that is the excess of births over deaths and rural urban migration. It occurs when the population growth rate of urban areas is higher than that of rural areas leading to a gradual shift of population towards cities. Several factors have contributed to rural urban migration including economic, social and political factors. Economic factors include the availability of jobs and higher wages in urban areas as well as the decline of traditional rural industries. Social factors include access to better education, healthcare, quality of life and cultural amenities. While political factors include government policies that promote urbanization such as the construction of infrastructure and the provision of subsidies to urban industries. Now let's discuss about urban sprawl. Urban sprawl is a term used to describe the uncontrolled and often unplanned expansion of urban areas into surrounding rural areas. It is characterized by low density development, the spread of housing and commercial buildings, and the increased use of automobiles. Urban sprawl is a global phenomenon that has several negative impacts on the environment, public health, and social well-being. It contributes to environmental degradation by causing the loss of green spaces, farmland and wildlife habitats. Urban sprawl leads to increased traffic congestion as people have to travel longer distances to get to work, school and other destinations. This can lead to increased air pollution and greenhouse gas emissions as well as higher fuel cost and longer commute times. Urban sprawl can also have economic cost as it requires the construction of new infrastructure and the provision of services to outlying areas. Now moving on to challenges of urbanization. Urbanization poses several challenges. Urbanization can exacerbate poverty and inequality by creating a two-tiered society of rich and poor. It can lead to social exclusion and marginalization by creating a sense of disconnection between different segments of society. This can lead to the development of social and spatial segregation with different groups of people living in different areas of the city. Urbanization can lead to environmental degradation by putting pressure on natural resources such as land, water and energy. Cities consume large amounts of energy and water leading to increased greenhouse gas emissions, air pollution and water scarcity. Rapid and unplanned urban growth can lead to inadequate infrastructure such as roads, electricity and drainage systems which can exacerbate the challenges of poverty and inequality. These challenges are more pronounced in developing countries. as urbanization in these countries is often characterized by rapid and unplanned growth inadequate infrastructure and weak governance now let's understand about the solutions to urban issues 
to address the challenges of urbanization governments and other stakeholders need to adopt a comprehensive approach there should be inclusive urban planning so that urbanization is sustainable equitable and inclusive investment in infrastructure is essential to ensure that cities have adequate and reliable access to basic services such as water sanitation and healthcare Urbanization should be environment friendly and sustainable so that it does not lead to environmental degradation. Social inclusion is essential to ensure that urbanization does not lead to social exclusion and marginalization. Cities must be resilient to natural and man-made disasters. Governments need to adopt measures that reduce the vulnerability of urban areas to disasters such as floods, earthquakes and fires. Now moving on to benefits of urbanization. Urbanization has numerous benefits as well. Economic growth. Urbanization can lead to economic growth by creating new markets, generating employment opportunities and attracting investments. According to a report by the World Bank, urbanization is associated with higher levels of productivity and incomes. Better living standards. Urbanization can also improve living standards. Example Cities often have better healthcare facilities, schools and universities than rural areas. Innovation and creativity. Cities are often centers of innovation and creativity where people from different backgrounds come together and exchange ideas. Cultural diversity. Urbanization can also promote cultural diversity by bringing people from different ethnic, linguistic and religious backgrounds together. This can help to reduce prejudice and promote tolerance. Improved infrastructure. Urban areas often have better infrastructure such as roads, public transport and communication networks than rural areas. Now lastly, let's discuss about Amrit scheme. Atal Mission for Rejuvenation and Urban Transformation or Amrit scheme was launched on 25th June 2015 in selected 500 cities and towns across the country. The mission focuses on development of basic infrastructure. The purpose of Atal Mission for Rejuvenation and Urban Transformation that is Amrit is to ensure that every household has access to a tap with the assured supply of water and a sewerage connection. Increase the amenity value of cities by developing greenery and well-maintained open spaces, example parks and reduce pollution by switching to public transport or constructing facilities for non motorized transport example walking and cycling this mission is being implemented by the ministry of housing and urban affairs amrit 2.0 scheme which has been launched on 1st october 2021 for the period of 5 years will promote circular economy of water it will be done through development of city water balance plan for each city focusing on recycle reuse of treated sewage regeneration of water bodies and water conservation Now it's time for the practice questions. First of all, prelims question. Consider the following in relation to causes of urbanization. One, high rate of emigration from rural to urban areas. Two, increasing number of educational institutions in cities. Three, high rate of industrialization. Four, high standard of living in the rural area. Which of the above statement or statements is or are correct? One, two, and three. Two, three, and four. One, two, and four. Or one, three, and four. and now moving on to mains question what is amrit scheme examine its relevance for urban development in india will it increase rural urban differences so that's all for today stay tuned for the next episode thanks for watching